Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to a brand new video. Hopefully you guys are all doing well today. In today's video, we're going to be taking a deeper look at the Vice City map for GTA 6 and diving deep into the city of Vice City, seeing what it has to offer, and looking at the latest in the GTA 6 mapping project. Now, if you didn't catch my video from earlier, I made a video going over the entire GTA 6 map as a whole from a high level and kind of discussing the entire state of Leonida, which is based on Florida in real life. But in this video, we're going to be diving deep into Vice City, which is based on Miami, and discussing the main focal point of the GTA 6 map. So make sure to stay tuned. We got a lot of really exciting stuff to talk about today. So leave a like and subscribe down below if you haven't already. But first off, here's a quick shout out. Out, and after that, we'll get into the video. Now, today's shout out goes to a brand new alternative to LinkedIn known as Big.Pro. Now, a lot of us worry about building up our personal social media presence, but we usually forget about our business presence, which in today's economy is more important than ever. Whether you're somebody that already has a job, is looking for a job, or if you're a business owner, Big Dot Pro features all of the features that you need to create and foster business connections. Everything ranging from free listing, business search, advanced direct and group messaging, group meetings, live streaming, and much more. And best of all, Big Dot Pro is 100% free to use. This is an excellent opportunity to get your business out there if you don't already have a strong online presence. And in addition, it's also an excellent opportunity to begin applying to jobs on a new site that doesn't already have a ton of applicants. So whether you're a business owner, a job seeker, or you're just somebody that wants to expand their business network, go ahead and click the first link in the description down below to sign up for Big.Pro and create your own account today. But with that being said, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into this video. All right, so right now we are on VI map, and if you don't already know what, what VI map is, it is essentially a community driven website that is currently mapping out GTA 6. They're using all sorts of information, ranging from leaks, trailers, literally any information they can get their hands on. And this is being updated pretty much on a weekly basis. So every time you come back, there's always something new, and this will continue evolving until the release of GTA 6 next year. So the website is up here. If you want to visit it for yourself, I'll also leave a link to it in the description down below. You may want to consider bookmarking it or at least visiting it after watching this video. But today we're going to be talking all about one of the main cities in the GTA 6 map, which is right here. Vice City. Vice City is, of course, based on Miami, Florida in real life. And if you watched my video from yesterday, you would know that we went into pretty much the entire state of Leonida, which is based on Florida in real life. And the state of Leonida is massive. And if we overlay the GTA 5 map right here, you can pretty much see that from a square mile point of view, it is essentially 2x the size of GTA 5, which is pretty crazy to think about. Now, this map is, of course, very incomplete. This will continue being filled in. But one of the big things that is different than GTA 5 is that there's actually going to be multiple cities across the map that are super detailed. But by far, the main one, and the one that we're going to be looking at here, is Vice City. Now, the majority of Trailer 1 actually took place in Vice City. So thankfully, the community has been able to map it out quite well. But before we hop into Vice City specifically, I want to start actually up the coast a little bit. And as you can see here, we have a lot of beach space, a lot of sand that is already beginning northern in the map. And as we go south and approach Vice City, these beaches continue. But what starts is a lot of buildings, hotels, clubs, apartments, condos, stores, all the things that you would expect in a bustling city. So across from the beach area and the sand, we're going to see a lot of various buildings. So mainly residential buildings, but also a lot of stores. And I am sure that we're going to have a lot of missions 
that take place in these buildings. And combined with the rumors that we're going to have more building interiors that we can enter, we should theoretically be able to walk down these streets here and enter a majority of these buildings, which is pretty cool to think about because compared to GTA 5, these buildings are really, really close to each other. And that is the way it is in real life. And I think that's really cool that Rockstar is replicating that in GTA 6. Now, going further into the Vice City downtown area, as we can see here, there is also going to be a large park. Now, the park name is allegedly Flamingo Park, but it is in red, which means it's just speculation at the moment. But there is going to be a very large park in this Vice City area. So we're going to have to wait and see if anything actually happens there. But I think that GTA 5 doesn't really have much green space. And that is honestly the way it is in real life in Los Angeles. But Miami actually has some really cool public parks. And I'm really happy to see that one of the big ones is making its way into GTA 6. So we're going to have, to fl we're going to have uh, the public park. It may or may not be called Flamingo Park. We're going to have to wait and see. A few parking garages. I'm sure there's going to be some pretty cool stunt jumps that we can do from some of these. Uh, there's also going to be a city hall as well as a few other larger buildings on the other side of the Vice City Inlet here. There's also going to be a small marina as well. So some ships, some pretty cool buildings down here, as well as a few other buildings down here. We don't really know what these are going to be, but they are down here and they did appear in the trailer. And that's pretty much it. So the entire Vice City area is essentially just a lot of buildings. And that is the way it is in Miami in real life. And I really hope that we do get some cool building interiors to make this area feel really alive and fun to explore and find different Easter eggs, especially after the game initially releases. Now, quite possibly the most interesting part, at least for me, is not really the Vice City downtown area, but more importantly, what's surrounding it. So there's going to be several roads that lead into Vice City, or actually several bridges. So up here, we have a larger marina area. So this is seems to be on an island a little bit off of the Vice City area here. And this seems to be a dedicated island for a marina. So we have a marina down here that's more connected to Vice City. But we're going to have a dedicated one up here. And right next to it, there's also going to be the Sunset Harbor Yacht Club, which hopefully we can buy some of these yachts, especially in GTA Online. There's also going to be the Venetian Islands, or at least allegedly called the Venetian Islands, which will have some buildings and some other things. Those are really undescript at the moment, so we really don't know what's going to be happening there just yet. A smaller island up here, which was featured in Trailer 1, and all of these are timestamped, by the way, if you want to go back and look what they're referring to. So we're going to have a little island there as well as another one, Star Island, as well as another one called Fairy Island, but quite possibly the most interesting one is the port. So the port is something that I think is going to be home to at least a few missions in the GTA 6 story mode. This is a massive port right here, so we're going to have to wait and see what actually comes out of this. The one in GTA 5, we had a few heist prep missions there, and that was a really cool area of the map, and this one is actually kind of on an island, which I find pretty interesting. And then going down south, there's even more islands, and it seems like this extends all the way down here into the Gator Keys, but we're not going to talk about that in this video just yet. As you can see, these islands are super duper blank at the moment. We really don't have much knowledge about them. There was a few leaks, there was some glimpses in the trailer, but we really don't know what's gonna be happening down here. But quite honestly, the fact that there's different islands in the game, if you take a look at the GTA 5 map again, I mean, it looks like child's play compared to GTA 6. So that looks like kind of one big island but then this one, if you really zoom in, I mean, this is so much more detailed. And what we're looking at here is one of the least detailed versions of the GTA 6 map. And this will continue being filled in as we get closer to the release. And one of the cool things that I really like looking at is this speculation map. Now, this is 
heavily speculated. And the idea here is just to give us a, a little bit of a look of what it could be in a completed GTA 6 map. And as you can see here, if you take this and then overlay the GTA 5 map, you can see that even if GTA 6 looks remotely like this, it is gonna be so much more detailed than GTA 5. There's gonna be way more buildings, way more roads, literally way more of everything. And I think this map is shaping up to be something really, really cool. So in terms of Vice City, this is gonna be the main city in the game, at least based on what we know so far. I think Rockstar did a pretty good job with this. If we go back and take a look at trailer one, I think they captured the vibe of Miami quite well. And I think this area is gonna be quite interesting. I think the big thing here is what are all these buildings going to entail? As we can see, there's quite a few hotels. There's definitely gonna be some businesses here as well but I think it's gonna be really, really cool to see what actually takes place in the open world of GTA 6. And as we can see here, there's even a spa, which I think is pretty cool. So that's what we have at the moment for Vice City. Make sure to stay tuned. We're gonna be making other videos talking about other parts of the GTA map. Right now, the map speculation is just a little bit too early at the moment to talk about a lot of the areas. As we can see here, we have a little bit of a city shaping up here, which is pretty cool. We also have a little city down here, as well as the wetlands. Quite possibly my favorite part, which is the Gator Keys, which I'm so happy that Rockstar is recreating the Florida Keys. But as you can see, Vice City is kind of really the only part of the map which we at least have a pretty good idea of what this is going to look like. But I definitely want to hear from all of you in those comments down below. What are your thoughts about Vice City so far? Are you happy the way it's shaping up? Do you think that Rockstar should be doing something else? Myself personally, I think this looks really cool. And I think the fact that it's so unique regarding all of the islands and all of the different aspects of the actual map outside of just the singular island like we have here, I think that is what makes Vice City super special. And the fact that there's also so many buildings so close to each other really blows GTA 5 completely out of the water in terms of just density of buildings and businesses and all of that good stuff. But I wanna hear what your opinions are in those comments down below. So sound off down there and I really wanna hear from all of you. But either way, if you enjoyed this video and you like staying updated on the latest surrounding GTA 6, leave a like and subscribe down below, and I will see you in the next one.